Hello guys and in this tutorial I wanted to show you how to create a simple telegram bot on the Dino platform. We will install a third party library to create a telegram bot instance and uh, then we will run it using the different flag. After this we will install the .env library and we will put our telegram bot token key to the separate.inf file. And in the end of this video, I will show you how to run our bot using the debugger. Okay, let's start. First of all, we need to check do we have a dinner or not. Let's go to the terminal and type dinner. If we have Adina, you will see the current version and the command line interface. Okay, let's create a simple folder where we will work. Let's call it Dina Telegram Bot. Okay, we missed K. And we can go to this folder. Let's type change directory and Dina Telegram bot. Oh, we have some mistake, but I think it's okay. We missed M letter. Now let's create a index.ts file. It's the file with TypeScript extension. As you know, you can use both JavaScript and TypeScript on the Dina platform. Let's make sure all is OK and print simple hello world. We can open our file using the nanite command and let's print hello world. We can save it using the command plus or shortcut and exit using the command plus x and let's run it we will use dinner run index ts command and we see hello world so let's go to the editor and start creating okay we have opened an editor and see our index.ts file. Let's start creating our bot by importing Telegram library. There are no package manager for Dina platform, so we need to import some packages from web. Let's go to dina.land and we can go to the third party models link. And let's search for Telegram model. Let's click on it and we see the source code of this library. We have some documentation here and we need to import this file mod.ts. It's the main file of this library. You see, you see this file have all models and they are exported. Let's copy this link and go to our file. And let's type import as telegram from and paste this link. Now we can create an instance of our bot. Also, this model is like a wrapper for Telegraph framework. You can search it on the GitHub. We use new keyword to create a Telegram bot instance. Here we type bot. We are calling the bot method. And we need to pass the Telegram token. I already have a Telegram token key, so I will paste it here. 
If you have no, you need to go to bot father bot in Telegram and uh, create your bot. And we can configure a start command of our bot. Just call a start method of bot instance and we need to pass a callback function to this method and we can respond to our client using the context reply method and we can send it hello world so when user will send the start command we will respond using the context reply method and we will send the hello world text and we can define another common just for test. We can use the common method and configure a test command. The second argument of command method is callback function and it has a similar functionality to start command. And we can run our bot using the launch method. I think all is OK and let's start to run our bot. And probably we will have some errors, but let's try. The first error is network access. We need to add the special flag to allow our bot to have a network access. It's allow net. Let's check if our bot is working now. Go to Telegram client and we opened our simple bot. Let's send a start command. And as you can see, our bot is responding to our commands. And let's try test. OK, now we can back to our editor and let's set up environment variables because it's not safe to keep our Telegram token here. We can create a special file .env. Usually uh, all environment variables are keeping in this file. And we can put uh, to this file our secret values, for example, our bot token. Let's cut it from here and paste it to this file. To support environment variables in our project, we will use .env package. We can open again the dina.land file and go to the third party models section. And let's search for, for .env. And we need this one. We have a great documentation here and we will use the after loading option and we need to copy and paste this line. Let's copy and paste it here. We are, all, we are already imported the dot and inf library. As you can see, if we import the .inf library in this way, it will automatically load the local .inf file and export all values to process environment. And we will use this construction to retrieve bot token key. Let's pass this value here and change the key value 
just bot token. Let's try to run our bot. We see an error here and we need to convert our value to string. We can use this construction. Let's save our file and run it again. We have a second dinner error in our list and it's called permission denied because we missed allow read flag. Let's add it. And we need to add allow inf flag. I think it's to support environment variables in our project. And our bot started. Let's go to Telegram client and test it again. Yep, it's working now. And the last thing I will show you how to debug our bot using the internal Dina debugger. We need just to add inspect flag while we start in our bot. Let's stop our bot and let's add a simple inspect flag. We see the debugger started and our bot is working. To access a debugger we need go to Chrome browser. Now we are going to open Chrome browser. And we need to type the following and inspect. Just this. And now you see the page with all uh, processes and we can inspect our application. Just press inspect link. We can hide this window. And here we can see just a simple Chrome debugger and we can open our code here. We can open here index.js. And we can set some breakpoints here, for example, for start command. And let's open again our Telegram bot and send a start message. And we see the debugger paused on our breakpoint and we can have an access to some variables, for example, context here, and we can manually continue to run our application. For example, let's resume the script execution. And our bot replied to the start command. If you like this video, please press a like button and I will be grateful for your comments and ideas for the future videos. So thank you for watching this video. Bye.